I am very pleased with my blade scraper. What I need though is something here to keep this from flying right up into here and getting on the, the belt which deposits it right back on the blade. So what I'll do, make something out of uh, sheet metal I suppose, wrap around this and curl up to capture all this and throw it back down off to one side. I see a uh, slight room for improvement here. Got this gap right here in this funnel stuff right into the wheelhouse. However, the blade is clean as fresh out of the box. So now we're going to look inside and see what we've got. I think I might need to put a little shield on here. This is what I want to see. Yep, got a little on here. Still got a lot of new sawdust in the wheelhouses. So this is not keeping it all out. I think it's going right past here. Something fastened to this. Then over behind that. blade is clean, slick and smooth. We're still getting sawdust in here. The teeth carry it in of course. Most of that goes out. Still getting a little bit in right in here.
with this. This became superfluous. My deflector here certainly deflects the sawdust. It all ends up right here instead of out there. Um, open up the doors now and see uh, see what it looks like. Well, it's not perfectly clean. The blade is. The blade is. You can shave a net. Maybe I should. Um, so somebody suggested <laughs> putting a sawdust chute right here to prevent this build up. I don't think it's enough to worry about myself. The uh, I'm going to brush off the drive belt. Boy, that blade's been in there for a few hours and it's still sharp. Uh, wow. Mm, I'm going to brush off the drive belt, continue the experiment. Uh, I think I'll just blow this clean right now. A couple of videos back, I mentioned a problem I was having with the sawmill rocking from side to side as I pulled it through large logs that had a lot of resistance. I realized the problem was not with the saw, but with me. By pulling it only on the throttle handle, the force I'm exerting is far from the center of resistance, which is the log, and it pulls the sawmill a little bit out of line. When pushing the mill, one pushes on the throttle handle and with the left hand on the frame, closer to the center. When I started pulling both on the throttle handle and on a point of the frame or even the lube tank spout, the oscillation stopped. I considered my experiments with the blade scraper and the sawdust baffle to be a success. The only drawback was a lot of extra sweeping to get sawdust off the floor and off the track. I decided to fasten it more or less permanently with pop rivets and unless I get tired of sweeping, I'll leave it on. <laughs> 